The TX22 Special Planer Board Setup Instructions. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a small needle nose pliers. When you open the package, you'll find the flag, the board, the toe arm assembly with line clip, and a parts bag with the rear pin and spring and some screws. Here's a detailed look at the components from that parts bag. Step one is deciding whether you need a port or starboard side board. This board ships as starboard, but it can easily be changed. And now, how to change from starboard to port. First, remove the screw that holds the weight. And then, remove the weight. Flip the foam over and reseat it. You'll see that the channel where the weight fits is now along the opposite edge. Slide the weight in and line up the holes. Use the screw you removed earlier to secure the weight in place. You can see that the weight is now on the bottom when the word port is face up. Now use the longer screw from the parts bag to secure the foam. And as we go through the rest of this, it's always a good idea to double check that the name of the setup you want is right side up on the front of the board. For step two, we're going to install the rear pin. Locate the black pin and spring. Position the spring inside of the recess in the top back corner of the board and feed the pin through the hole in the top edge of the board and then through the spring. Grab the tiny hairpin clip with your needle nose pliers. Compress the spring a little until you can see the groove in the pin and snap the clip into that groove on the pin. Step three is to attach the toe arm assembly. You'll see there are two sets of two pre-drilled holes on the face of the board. For a starboard board, confirm the word starboard is up and use the two holes closest to the word to attach the toe arm using two screws. If you were building a port board, you'd want the word port facing up and use the other set of holes. Next is to set the line clip tension. We preset them with the top of the screw just below flush with the clip arm, which is a good universal setting. But to dial it in for your specific baits, line, and conditions, tighten the screw to increase tension and loosen it to decrease. Finally, attach the flag. Match the hole in the flag arm with the little pin on the back of the board just above the screw hole. Using a screw, attach the flag to the board and tighten the screw. Snug, but don't over tighten it. For easy board storage, push forward slightly on the flag arm to disengage the pin and lower the flag. And to connect your TX22 board to your line, simply squeeze open the line clip, run the line coming from the reel through the opening between the clip pads, and release the clip. Then pull the rear pin open, slide the line past it, and release the pin. And with that, your TX22 Special Planer Board is ready to fish.